Hello and welcome. So one of the main complaints when people start working with uh, IntelliJ IDE is that uh, the UI is really noisy by default and you have this all uh, tabs, icons, options, sidebars and all that stuff that basically distracts you from your source code and working on that. So as you see, uh, uh, there is not much screen space uh, left for, for the code. And um, yeah, that's basically the main complaint I hear often from people that prefer more simple tools. Uh, even VS Code by default uh, is much simpler than uh, IntelliJ. But today I'd like to show you uh, how to turn this mess into kind of minimalistic uh, look and uh, setup, but uh, don't compromise and still keep all the uh, powerful features that we have from uh, IntelliJ. Uh, with just a couple of uh, useful key bindings. So if you haven't touched uh, IntelliJ for a while, um, or maybe you're completely new to that, uh, this is what you'll see most likely when you just start your uh, editor. And um, the first thing uh, I like to show if that we go if we go to settings, and then there is a tab uh, for the new UI that was recently released. Uh, so you should be on kind of like a, a recent version of IntelliJ. So I just highly recommend to enable that first. So after we after we finish the restart, um, unfortunately it's not saving the theme for some reason, but that's easy to fix. So uh, my preferred theme for a while is uh, the solarized uh, dark. So let's just apply that and we can start from here. So now it's uh, more compact, but still a lot of noise and a lot of tabs. Um, the other thing I want to show you just for purpose of this video is if we go to plugins, um, I'll enable the uh, presentation assistant and that will allow you to see the hotkeys that I'm pressing. So if I do search usages, uh, you should see the uh, command here. It says find usages. So I have custom uh, key bindings for the most of uh, commands, but um, uh, bu uh, you can find the default. If you just do double shift and then you can find um, any command here. So find usages it was, I believe. And then it shows this uh, command and uh, default key binding you will see here and you can reset it inside the settings uh, for the key map. So, yeah. Um, so the, the, the main thing I want to show you is a thing called Zen mode. Uh, if we enter that mode, it will look something like that by default. So uh, it goes to the full screen and it only shows you uh, your uh, current file. But you still have all the key, key bindings working here. So you can navigate um, inside, you can go back and all that stuff. Uh, and also this double shift uh, command, uh, which I use just if I want to jump into some other namespace or class or uh, uh, something else like a file or a directory, I can just do double shift and uh, type what I want, uh, like a core namespace, for example, and all that stuff. But uh, the interesting part starts here. So what I usually need from uh, when I work on some code. So I want the most of my screen space uh, for the source code, but I also want the REPL uh, as I'm doing closure development. Uh, in addition to REPL, I want uh, my terminal occasionally, and I want my uh, tree of the project. So for the tree, uh, I have a key binding like this. It, it says select file in project view. And uh, if I execute that, it shows me uh, where exactly this uh, file located in the tree, and it opens, opens the tree uh, as well. So to close that, I want uh, there is another um, hotkey uh, to hide active tool window. Uh, so now I can just uh, with a short uh, command go from this to this. Uh, that's good. 
The other thing in, is the terminal, uh, also a separate key binding for that. Um, it's command underscore for me, but uh, it could be different for you. Uh, so just set what you want. So now I'm in a terminal and I can run any commands. If I don't want terminal anymore, I can close it again with the same key. So I can toggle it. And the final thing, um, let me just quickly go back and start the REPL. Um, yeah, so the other thing is to open the REPL. And in most cases, I just work like this. So I have uh, part of the screen with the source code and then the REPL. And after that, I can do uh, just normal closure development. I can execute <coughs> things and pass them into the REPL. If I want to open the um, tree, I can do that. And also I can open the uh, terminal. Uh, interesting thing that from here, I can uh, just go to this uh, mode uh, to hide all windows with just single command and if I do that again it shows me the previous state so I can toggle between this and between this um, really quickly so again um, I have uh, three hotkeys to open separate tabs here one is for the tree one is for the terminal and one is for the REPL um, and I can toggle between that really easily like that yeah, so just a, a bit more about navigation around the, um, the source code. So one of the useful things, as i already shown, but everyone should be familiar with that, is to go to the source, right? Uh, navigate to declaration and go back. So if I am looking through the namespace uh, and I want to check what the function means or something like that, I just go there and go to the source code. Now I'm here. Uh, if I want to switch to this namespace, or I can I can find it in the tree. Uh, if I just want to go back, I can go back to the place from where I navigated to this definition. Uh, and also I have this uh, search for the usages. It opens in a new uh, tab here at the bottom, and I can just use that to find all the usages of, of this function. Um, the, the powerful thing about uh, Cursive and IntelliJ uh, working with Closure Code is that you can go inside Java libraries. So for example, this I have a Hikari uh, data source. And if I go inside, I actually have a decompiled uh, Java class. And I can now uh, look through the Java source for that. And again, go back. Um, that's fine. And also, uh, this is SOC, which we know is a part of uh, Closure Core. If I go there, now I'm in inside uh, Closure Core namespace. And if I uh, show that in tree, it actually shows me the file inside the jar. Uh, it's quite large, but if I scroll a bit to the top, as you see, we're now inside dependencies. So that's jars that were uh, downloaded by our tool, like Linegen or Depths. Uh, EDN thing. So now we're inside this jar. And my favorite key uh, binding is to show the structure of the file. So if I click this uh, file structure, it shows me all um, uh, top level definitions inside the namespace. So for the Java uh, classes, it will be the classes and functions. For closure, it works as well. So we have these top level uh, defs and defense. And cool thing is if I open this window, I can just type something and it will filter the result. So if I uh, searching for the map cat, for example, I just type that and I can navigate to that uh, inside the same uh, file. Uh, so same works for my code like as well. Um, I can do this uh, file structure pop up and just navigate through that. And also, again, if I go to the tree, uh, one of the features of IntelliJ is that you can just start typing something uh, like example, um, example, and it just navigates you to, to that place and you can open it really quickly. Um, the final thing I want to show is regarding the tests. So if I go to um, 
some namespace for the for the test. Um, let me open the REPL. Now I load the file into the REPL. Uh, that's like a default uh, hotkey in cursive. Um, and now I can run all the, uh, the tests in the namespace. Uh, it says no failures, but if I want to add a failure, just to show you one thing, so, so for example like that, uh, it just shows you the a red line, uh, so it says uh, test failed. And to show the diff, you need to click on this uh, icon and press show diff, which is not really useful, because if I go back to a normal view, uh, it shows these icons uh, for me. So to, uh, we actually can fix that, uh, and if I click on the icon, it shows me the diff, and now I can just press escape and close that window. Um, so to fix that in the Zen mode, um, there is an option. We just uh, right click on on these uh, lines here, and inside appearance, I think I need to go to configure icons, and you can select w which icons to show. But I can just sh click uh, call um, uh, show all, and now I have these uh, elements here. So there's like to run tests and to um, show the diff now. So we, um, it's not necessary. So if you don't like these icons, that's fine. But I just used to uh, clicking on here and see my diff for the fail test. That's pretty handy. Okay, so just to recap, so that's uh, how uh, the most busiest uh, uh, screen looks for me. I have tree, I have source code, I have uh, REPL, and I have terminal. And um, I can go quickly to the source code if I want to focus on that. And I can navigate through the source code with this uh, file structure pop-up, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, yeah, and also there is an option to uh, switch between uh, projects as well. So there's a hotkey for that. But after that, I can just do, um, I can search my, my other project. And now we have these uh, two tabs at the top. And they are completely different projects now. They are fully independent. It's same as uh, outside Zen mode. It's just to have two separate uh, IntelliJ windows for different projects. And if you switch to something uh, after that, you can uh, hover over this uh, close uh, icon and then with option click you can close everything except this uh, this project but to be honest uh, this minimalistic uh, approach I only use uh, when I am focusing on the code uh, for a long time in some project if I'm just navigating through different microservices different code bases uh, I still prefer to to use these windows and just uh, uh, work with that. But if I want to, if I'm writing some code, I'm usually switching now to this Zen mode with all these uh, side sidebars uh, that I've shown you. Cool. So hopefully that was useful. Um, thanks a lot for watching again. Um, no camera this time, but it was uh, on purpose just to not uh, hide any elements of the screen um, yeah hope you enjoyed please like subscribe and uh, leave your comments and questions happy to, to answer uh, and don't forget that there are buy me a coffee and coffee uh, links in the pinned comment if you want to support my channel so thanks a lot uh, and see you next one bye bye